I am very aware of the preciousness of time. Seize the moment. Act now. I have spent my life traveling across the universe, inside my mind. I hope that science and technology will provide the answers, but it will take people, human beings with knowledge and understanding, to implement these solutions. We are all time travelers, journeying together into the future. Be brave, be determined, overcome the odds. It can be done. All right, so I told you, did I tell you? We're trying to put together crazy things. And today, I think we've done that. So in a previous video, I showed you a setup with a really special chair, kind of been upgraded. It's been replaced by something even more outlandish, by what I think, by what I know, is the ultimate gaming slash workstation setup I've ever seen, experienced, been a part of. Yes, it will blow your mind. Yes, it is completely bonkers. That's the point. Now, I unveil to you my current top tier, top of the food chain, place to sit right here. Oh my goodness. Excuse me. It's too much, Lou. I can't handle it. I can't deal with it. Deal with it, you shall. If you sat there, you would know what I was talking about. That one in the middle, 4K LG display, 42.5 inches. And then flank it with a couple portrait mode displays, which is exactly what I've done right here. Yeah, 24. It's almost 100 inches because you want to get immersed. You're not allowed to sit here, Jack. And of course, we need the right PC to drive it all. We brought over the Zydex PC from the other setup. We have a PlayStation there as well because there's multiple inputs to this setup. That's what the ultimate setup needs. It's RGB everywhere. Of course, we got the snack cart, sun chips, we got the pirate cookies, healthy diet. This chair here was made by a company called Imperator Works, and I imported this thing. It's kind of the heart of this setup. What about this light on the front? We slid it in there, rigged it up. It's called Nano Leaf. That just went in there for even more RGB. And then over here, we got the fridge. You need to grab something. You're gaming. Maybe you're streaming in here. I'm getting thirsty. Maybe it's an iced tea. Maybe it's a beer, or maybe it's a Coca-Cola Unbox Therapy Edition. I mean, the choice is yours. Night, night. This is where you wanna be in life at most moments. So from this spot, you can control everything. You hit the zero G, the whole thing moves like this. A nice little recline going on. I mean, I could be here a week. The chair even has a massage built into it. So you could get the nice little vibe going on. This is the moment I have to give a big shout out to Steel Series for sponsoring this episode and also making such amazing gaming peripherals. This headset is the Arctis Pro Game DAC. This guy right here gives you a mix. I have DTS that I can turn on and off, and if I hold this switch right here, I have even more settings. There's a mic that comes out from here. This is the Rival 600, super comfy. Pull off these side panels and adjust the weight of it. Each one of these units is four grams, four of these on each side of the mouse. Now the keyboard is the M750, the same lighting that you would get on a full size, but in something that's more compact. Now you also probably noticed this PlayStation controller sitting up front. You might wanna play a console game in here. The PC gamers out there in the audience, they're like a setup like this and you're playing on a console, I'm offended. Who cares? It's the ultimate setup. It should have everything, right? The cool thing with this main display is it has a ton of inputs. Display port, multiple HDMI 2.0s, go up to 60 FPS in 4K. Even with the PlayStation up on the main display, you still see the portrait displays on the side showcasing your gaming PC. So from a productivity standpoint, or even an entertainment standpoint, you could be multitasking here. I know who I Want to take me home? Oh, there he is. You're mine, brother. I'll come for you. You are mine, brother. I will come for you. 
It won't hit him. It won't hit him. It won't hit him at all. You don't use an SMG in the long range, brothers and sisters. As you can tell, the game is now across all three monitors. Believe it or not, a little bit difficult to do when you have portrait mode monitors on the side. I've mapped it pretty well here. You could play with the middle monitor and do the kind of productivity entertainment thing that I mentioned earlier. You can see we've got a decent frame rate here, over 80 FPS mostly. <laughs> It was the worst kill ever, too. You get that real kind of twitchy, whoa, I found this secret area accidentally. <laughs> there he comes. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I mean, what can I say? I can't think of a better spot in the world. The possibilities are endless. Everything is right where it should be. And you really feel like you could be here for a while before fatigue sets in. It's not gonna be for everyone. It's obviously outlandish. Yes, it's expensive, but sitting here is a very special experience. I promise you that. So there you have it, the most insane setup that I've ever put together, courtesy of SteelSeries. They fit right in. Couldn't imagine not having the proper peripherals to go with a setup like this. I don't know. You let me know if you've seen a crazier setup than this. I don't think you have. How about this? You wanna keep this ball rolling? Step this up even further? Do more crazy setups? Let me know by leaving that thumb love down below, this one right here. Don't forget.